Aloha and welcome to The Solution, where we build and test a variety of practical solar devices for everyday use. Welcome to Episode 5 of The Solution Build, where we're building a solar electric powered patio boat for use on the island of Kauai. Here we're putting some foam and bottles into one of the bulkhead sections. The idea is to foam and fill up a couple of these ones in case the hole gets compromised, there'll still be some positive flotation in each one of the pontoons. And here you can see that I was finally able to get my hands on some of the two-part expanding foam and have begun using that instead of the spray cans. And then more bottles and foam, and on top of that we add more foam. Each one of the bulkheads is its own waterproof compartment. In case the boat gets a hole in it, just that bulkhead will fill with water. Then of course several of the bulkheads are going to be filled with foam and bottles and if that ever gets a hold, no water will get in. The very front is going to be subject to abuse if any area is and so I've created another little bulkhead by putting that rounded piece of fiberglass in the front and of course both of these sections will be filled with foam and as you can see here we've started to do just that. As I fiberglass in over the top of the boat each one of these bulkheads will be made watertight. To make covers for each one of these segments, I start by making a flat sheet on our workbench. I just use a tape measure and take some rough measurements. Then we put the piece in place and continue with the dry fitting. And for that process, I use a jigsaw to cut the shape out and a belt sander to come in and sand it down so that the edge of the top piece bevels and fits nicely to the bottom part. Then we fiberglass it over and you've got a watertight compartment. And of course, once each piece sets, you gotta come back and do some sanding and filling and then apply a final coat of resin. And so it turns out that the expanding foam is very expensive to use even when you're filling the chamber ahead of time with bottles. So I decided to switch over to broken up pieces of styrofoam, which has the secondary benefit of taking material out of the landfill and putting it into the boat. Star foam works very well with the spray foam and um, it's very easy to fill these voids and cost me about $7 instead of about $100 to fill one of those bulkhead sections. Each one of these bulkhead section covers is made from two layers of 1708 fiberglass material. A final layer is used to encapsulate the cover and integrate it into the pontoon. A deck will cover both of the pontoons so these surfaces will not be visible. Once the section cover has received its final dry fit sanding, I use it to lay out the next layer that will cover the piece and integrate it into the pontoon.
Next, it's time for final sanding and filling before we begin to make the next pontoon.